Hello friends, in the last lesson we derived a formula to find the roots of a quadratic equation by looking at its coefficient. So given a quadratic equation of form ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0, the two roots alpha and beta are alpha is equal to minus b plus square root of b square minus 4ac by 2a and beta is equal to minus b minus square root of b square minus 4ac by 2a. Let's verify if this formula works or not. Let us take the example that we solved in the earlier video using factorization method. Say the length of the field is 8 meters more than its width and area is 308 square meter. So the equation we formed was x square plus 8x minus 308 equal to 0. So here a is equal to 1, b is equal to 8 and c is equal to minus 308. Let's see if we get the same value of x using the formula we derived. Alpha is equal to minus 8 plus square root of 8 square minus 4 into 1 into minus 308 divided by 2 into 1. The sign inside the square root becomes plus because minus 308 into minus becomes plus. So we get 64 plus 1, 2, 3, 2 inside the square root and 64 plus 1, 2, 3, 2 is equal to 1, 2, 9, 6 and square root of 1, 2, 9, 6 is 36. So alpha is equal to minus 8 plus square root of 1, 2, 9, 6 by 2 that is equal to minus 8 plus 36 by 2. On solving this we get alpha is as 14 which is same as what we got in our earlier video using factorization method. So the formula works. Let's find the second root. We put the value of a, b, c in the formula. So we get beta is equal to minus 8 minus square root of 8 square minus 4 into 1 into minus 308 by 2 into 1. And on simplification we get minus 8 minus 36 by 2 which is equal to minus 22. And this is also same as the what we found using the factorization method. So this is an amazing one step shortcut for finding root of a quadratic equation. So we can say the roots of the quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 are given by minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac by 2a. Note b square minus 4ac must be greater than or equal to 0. If that value is negative we cannot find the root of the negative number. So in that case we can say quadratic equation has no real root. So that's all for now. Bye bye.